Hello and welcome to the Fruitful Hands Knitting Podcast. I'm Katie. And I'm Diana. And we are a mother-daughter knitting duo from Kentucky. Yep. And it's been a bit. We yes. filmed the podcast two weeks ago. Uh-huh. And trashed it. Trashed it. It's like we were tired. We still are tired, but hopefully we can. Yes. Well, not but that was so like, tired. Yeah, you could tell we were tired. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, I talked about some yarn updates that have long gone because it took me... Like, we didn't have yeah. internet in our new house, so I couldn't upload the podcast. So, it just... We're coming to you with brand new... Yes. <laughs> Content! Content! This is... What is today's date? Do we even know? 23rd. Is it? Yeah. Okay. 23rd mm -hmm. of September. September. Yeah. And we will talk... Generally, how we do is what we're wearing, mm -hmm. uh, finished objects, works in progress... And then life updates. Yeah. So if you if you don't want to hear that, mm -hmm. you can check out. At that and point. any dream knitting because I'm gonna. Dream knitting. I talked about dream knitting in the trash podcast, and I'm gonna talk about yeah. it again today because yeah. it's good. <laughs> yeah, Katie kept. Uh, she edited the last one, and mm -hmm. she kept saying, or she texted me. And she said, "We look really tired." <laughs> I'm like, "What? Yeah. Real life? We it's real life. It we look real life. life." And I, we probably look tired in this one yeah. too. But you know, yeah. hopefully, like our talking won't be tired yes like, we look yes. tired but it's also like we were Sounded. jumbling up stuff and saying yeah, yeah real life up, so yeah. we're trying to be better than yeah. real life yes yes exactly <laughs> we'll let you know how it goes uh, yes okay and then is there any admin stuff um we have the ball the into alpine 2024 knit yeah. along that started like two weeks ago the ninth the ninth and it's going to the end of November. Yes. You have plenty of time. You can knit any of the Alpine. I haven't Alpine. even cast it on yeah. yet. Cast yeah. on yet. So you can knit any of the Alpine, uh, Caitlin, Caitlin Hunter's Alpine patterns. Yes. Hat. Mm -hmm. There's two different sweaters. Mm -hmm. then, I don't know if there's a cow or not. I don't think I don't there think is. so. Yeah. So any of that. But mm -hmm. if you want to join us, come on yes. over. The other thing is the last uh, podcast, we drew a name. Yes. And gave away the pouch from Cooper's Corner. North Carolina, yes, net, uh, the bags, and I have not mailed that. My life has been crazy the last two weeks, so I have not mailed that yet. I'll be home Wednesday, Thursday. I'll mail it one of those days. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah, we did. We haven't posted on Instagram about the knit along. Nothing. We haven't done a thing, but hopefully, I haven't. We'll talk about that yeah. in a little bit about. Why well, I haven't cast on yet? Yeah. I won't go into all the details. Yeah. Anyway, I'll talk about what I'm wearing. Yes. Talk okay. about what you're wearing. It's beautiful. This is, I'll put it on the screen too, because I think the correct name is the Sunset Boulevard <laughs> sweater. And this is by Caitlin Hunter. Oh, is it really? Yes. I did not realize Boiler this Networks. is a nice Isn't detail. That amazing? That's yeah, amazing. Yeah, I really like that. So all this yarn, this is um Mag, all of it's magpie except for this strip right here, which Mama let me use. I think it's Elephant by Emma's yarn. But this is Baby Got Black, maybe? Mm -hmm. And then this is London Train. And this is, no, something Fog. I don't know. I'll I'll, uh, I'll have it below. I yeah, it we have all our notes below. Yes. So if you look at the video, there's a more... Tap on that, and that it should have all the yes the notes of what we're wearing and what we're doing. Um, and this is it's a round yoke. It's got the color work. I think I knit the second size, and I just I'm not a huge fan of like super deep yokes, and I feel like I just the way that I'm yes shaped and stuff. A lot of them do fall deep mm -hmm. on me. So like with the color work, I guess I could have stopped uh -huh. earlier, which. I, li I like the fit of it. Yeah, it looks but, good. But um, just something I think that I've realized is I I like a higher armpit yeah. and like round yokes just sometimes. Do you know what your magic number is, as no. Andrea says? Yeah, I need to figure out. That's one of my things I'd like yes. to do is figure out all my magic numbers yes. this fall. Yes, exactly. I need to do that because yeah. I'm pretty sure the Alpine, Alpine sweater that I'm going to make is round yoke as well, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So maybe on that. Are I you doing the spring or the fall? Fall. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll talk about yeah. that later. So anyway, I really like it. It's so soft. It's a swinky it sock by Magpie Fibers, and it's just it's it's, it's scrumptious. Yeah. I have yeah. very sensitive skin, and I don't have you know an undershirt on or anything. So is this? Did you block it? I did. Okay. Yeah. Did and it didn't grow any. 
Um, it might have grown a little bit. Yeah. I love these deep cups. Yes. Yes. Aren't those really they're it's I, worth the effort. I thought I wouldn't, but I really yeah, do. I do yeah, too. It's just it's really I do nice. too. Yeah. That's really cute. It's beautiful. It was fun. It was so fun to make. Good. Yeah. Yeah. I remember you were mm -hmm. pregnant working on this. Yes. yes. Yeah. And yeah. so it's nice. This is the first time I put it on since having yes. baby boy. So it's like, oh, it fits. Because I tried it on when I was expecting. I was like, well, not yet. Not yet. Yeah. Not right now. Not right now. So, okay. I, I think this is the first time I have not worn a sweater. Yeah. This is a loft dress. It was on sale. Oh. And it was 50, or it was 70% off the sale price or something crazy. Oh, so, and it has pockets. Love it. Love a good and it's deal. gathered. It's really cute, y'all. If you mm. like the, or not the loft, J. Jill. I'm so sorry. Oh, J. Jill. It's still cute. It is still cute. <laughs> And it's very nice and cool. Mm -hmm. I'm, I mean, it's yeah, like, this, this is like, Katie and I. I'm running very hot right now. And she's okay in a sweater with long sleeves. Yeah, I, I'm making it, but it is kind of on the warmer side. Yeah. But, well, that's okay. Yeah, but it's, this is a fingering weight sweater. So it's yes. like... See, I think I, I can wear fingering mm -hmm. weight in the fall. Yes. For sure. Yeah. In spring. Do you have any other finished I'll options? Finish off. Oh, yay! Yes. Um, okay. So, oops. So... I finally finished the Gleam and Glow shawl, and she loved it. I got it finished for her birthday. Mama blocked it for me because there was no space in her house that it could be blocked that she would not see. <laughs> so this yarn is Moondrake's um, Frozen colorway, okay. and it's got the little nibs and Stellina. Does it have Stellina? It does. Okay. Yes. Oh yeah, I see it. Yeah. So Just she's a hint. Exactly. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's beautiful. It was really fun to make and I thought it was going to take forever, but like once I actually buckled down and this was my okay. thing that I focused on, it was not long at all. Oh, good. So it was like, and I didn't even use the whole skein of either of these. Oh, good. Yarns. Yeah, I wonder so if you could some, do socks out of them. I might be able to. Just some little. Yeah. I wonder though what those little nips, is that yeah. what they call them? Nips. 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 If yeah. that would, I don't think you would fill them though. I don't fill them. I know. I don't on think it. so. Okay. I it it's really fun. cute. And it's very yeah. soft. And she loves she it. She loves it. Okay. It's very fun. This bag <laughs> is from Over the Next Knit Row. And it's a really cute bag. It has handles. It's just a little canvas tote bag. Mm -hmm. So I. That's nice. Yes. This is, y'all remember what I'm working on. This is my Laura pullover. Free pattern from Lamb and Kid. I used uh, Elmer and Birdie, Cake Pops, and I don't know what oh. the other one is. Let me look. Cake Pop and something pink. pink. Yeah. Y'all know me. Pop Rocks. Oh, yeah. So these two colors I love. They are just so glorious. I love seeing what colors combine. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so soft. Isn't it so soft? Oh my word. Isn't it so soft? Wow. Oh, I'll, I'll, I may wear it the next time. Wow. I love it. So this is, I think it's, I think we talked about this before. The birdie is, let me get my glasses, sorry. I need my readers. I don't need my. I can't get over I know. how soft well, this is. Well, this is 74% alpaca and 26% silk. So that's, that's why fine. it doesn't feel so scratchy. And the other one. I might need to make this. I know. Okay, it's I really, I love it. Elmer is a fingering weight and it is 80% merino and 20% cashmere. Oh. Yeah. So it, it does. Oh, it's Isn't just, it? It's light. Yeah. And it's light. And, and just, yeah. Have you tried it on? Yes. You love it. I love it. The, the collar may be a little high. Okay. Um, can you like fold it down? Yeah, I'll just fold it oh, over. Because that's a, yeah, that's a look now. It's like, so if it gets too yeah. much, I'll just fold it over. Nice. I love it. I love it. Okay, I might need to make I know. one of these. I love it. Is it so is soft. so cute on guys. I wear it, but it was a little just and it's got yeah. three quarter sleeves. Okay. Okay. So it doesn't go all the way down. I was like, I didn't know your arms were so much shorter than mine. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. No. It's so that so is so. so cute. And that's so cute. 
But isn't that amazing what color you get yes. when you combine to how it mute, it tones down that mm -hmm. pink, mm -hmm. but yet it's a vibrant pink. Yeah. Like I almost want one in that exact I know. combo. I know. It's just so fun. This brought me so much joy yeah. working on it. Like every time I picked it up, the colors just That's awesome. brought me joy. Yes. 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 So if you are having a slump in your knitting mm -hmm. and you need a, uh, something because I've got a lot of things going and some of them are not bringing me joy and mm -hmm. I'm having second thoughts about some things mm -hmm. I'm just you know life's too short yeah so if I'm just not feeling the love mm -hmm. we just gonna say adios you know, that's Is exactly that? I have a project I'm going to show and one that I'm not going to show so my two well are you done with I'm yes sorry. I'm finished okay. with that so I have two summer projects that I was telling myself I need to get these done yes. before I work on fall things and one was the Colette by Sari Nordland. And I, mm -hmm. that can be worn in the fall. Yes. It's the color I chose and yes. everything. I can work on that. Yeah. And this could be, I don't know. This is kind of more of like for sure summer, spring. But this is the Rococo Raglan. Mm -hmm. Did I drop one? No, I don't no. think so. No, no, I don't. Okay. Rococo Raglan by Sari Nordland. I finished this sleeve. <laughs> And yeah, there's the can... lace. Oh, oh, yeah, there it is. You can see. Yeah. That. And it's got the I-cord uh -huh. edging, just like the neck. And then I'm working on the second sleeve um, lace work. Oh, I love that you can I see it. I know. It. It's really pretty. In that. So, yeah, it's so fun. Do you like, okay, it's fun. It is fun. Um, it's hard with the black yarn. And time-wise, I just don't have a lot of daytime to work on this. So uh -huh. it's like, I'll get in maybe a row you know like right. a row or two every right. few days right so it's not a fast project which is you okay. know, it can be disappointing well yeah. but it's hard to like get that enough to pick it yeah, up and exactly go. Yeah. so it's um, one of those you need to knit on like 30 minutes a day yes and then move on yes and when i have 30 minutes a day i'll do that yeah but i'm trying to decide oh and this so this is by sorry nordland and i'm using Tin Lena in the color, I think it's 1099, but black, basically their yeah. black color. Um, so how do you like working with the Tin Lena? Um, at first I hate, hated it. Yeah. Now I don't like hate it, but it's definitely not my favorite. I really yeah. like working with the Pure Silk yes. by Knitting for All. Knitting for All. Uh -huh. And, uh, and I like the Lena in yes, Santa's Garden. Yes. But for some reason, that it's, is just kind of dry yeah. and it, my hands, it's very, it's thinner yes. than the Lena, of course. Yes. So maybe if I worked with two strands of it, it, it wouldn't be maybe, so bad. Yeah. So I'm trying to decide if I really mean it that I need to finish those. And mm -hmm. you'll see by my next project that I don't totally mean it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but... You know, it's just like maybe I maybe I save them for spring. Yes. When I can't wear big sweaters yes. coming up. And yeah. just work with Do you have any big right sweaters now. on the um sort of. Okay. Sort of. Okay, this is a fin half finished. Yay. I finished this little color, color block sock. It's just a two by two ribbing. Um and then the bottom of the foot is just stockinette and then the top over the foot is two by two ribbing. I do love this because it hugs the foot nicely. Mm -hmm. I am a shorter sock person. Yeah, you are. I really do love shorter socks. This is, a, is it Deluminator? Yeah. Mm -hmm. By Ruby and Rose. She had it. Roses. Misfit Ruby. order. Did you see that? I didn't look. I didn't get it. <laughs> exactly. I, didn't. I, didn't. I can't don't. look. Cover can't your look. eyes. Cover your eyes. Um, I love yeah. this. That's so pretty. Did I you look? I look. I didn't get anything, uh -huh. but I was super tempted. Uh -huh. I was super. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's why I didn't look because yeah. I would have ordered. I yeah. love her yarns. Yeah. It's so and it's super. It is like, soft. It's so good. Yeah. It's yeah. So soft. It, but it's got a high twist. Okay. So I feel like it's gonna be. It's gonna wear well. Yes. I see. So I love those. I did love you? Those. Is that your own pattern, or did you? Or like it's a uh, summer Lee from her okay. pattern. It's a color block sock okay. from. I got that book. Oh yeah! I, did. I haven't started anything. I haven't even been able to really look at it. Yeah. But I got it. Yeah. Some socks. Yes. Somebody who is doing that? 
I think Nettie McPurley mm -hmm. is doing a sock club with that book oh. and she dyes yarn. So she's going to, they're going to work their way through that book oh, cool. or something. The next ones I want to knit out of there are the little footies. Oh yeah. Yeah. I want to make yeah, yeah. a little pair. Cause I have a lot of yarn left over from mm -hmm. all these shorter socks yes. and I think I can get little footies out yeah. of those as well. And if not, you can do like a little fade. Yes. Yeah. 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 For sure. That would be fun. So this is my only other project. I've worked a little That's bit it. on the Colette tee, but like, it's not. Well, how many do you have? I have quite a few. Oh. Well, do you want to do another one? I can. Either way. Real quick. Okay. 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 This is my. Yay. What's it called? Garden. Garden card again. Yeah. Is, is that, that right? It? <laughs> <laughs> Why did that sound weird? I don't that know. Garden or go. Garden card again. So I am making progress. Yay. Making progress. I think I was where that's that is the last time. Yeah. So I am it. making progress. But I just worked on you know that Laura sweater mm -hmm. caught my attention and yes. I just couldn't just that, gotta it was just it. a lot. But I love this. I love yes. the color. It makes me happy. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna finish it for yes. sure. So you're the pink lady. I am. I've got a few more, but go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I wanna talk about my <laughs> no, no, no. go well, ahead. I have one dream note. Okay. That's all. Um, okay, so this is my April cardigan by Petite Knit, uh -huh. and I am down on the ribbing. It's supposed oh. to be four inches of ribbing, uh -huh. so I love that. Um, and I even, I can't believe I added, I even added like an extra inch and a half to this part. It's just supposed to be a shorter uh -huh. cardigan, cardigan, but okay. I still added some extra, extra, okay. and I'm hoping it's going to be long enough. I, I think, think it, it will. Yeah. Don't you? I th yeah, I think it will be. Yeah. Because I've got another two inches. Yeah. Or inch and a half yeah. anyway. But I've just been able to work on this. Like, anytime my husband is driving me anywhere, yes. I bring this in the car. Yeah. And that's, I work on that's it. That's a good thing about living a little yeah. bit from people. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, now we're a bit away from Mama and... Oh, we went down Saturday. Anyway, yes. yes. So we, I got some knitting in then, and I really love this. After I do this part, I'm going to do a double knit. Oh, cute. Band. Are the kids, do they travel well? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. See, my, uh, Katie and her siblings, they always traveled well. Mm -hmm. So it was not a big deal for us to get in the car and yeah. drive yeah. wherever. Even the baby, he does great yeah. in the car I mean, so that's far. That's amazing. Yeah. I love it. Go ahead. I know. The, so the fiber, the yarn is Jim's Lux Fibers Yak Decay and the color Sapphire. And it's beautiful. And I have not mixed, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, done different roads of different skins. Yeah, alternate. There we go. <laughs> I know. My brain's a little. <laughs> I know. The, the, the mix up. And it's done amazing. Okay, so, good. I, love it. I do want to say it's been so long since I, I, <laughs> my pink cardigan, garden cardigan, is knitting for Olive Merino. I love pink daisies and the mohair to match that. I love this yarn. That's amazing. I love the pattern. I love it all. Um, and what? Oh, that Laura cardigan, I knit the ribbing in. Uh, on the sleeves and, and the neck in fives, I think, and the body in sevens. Mm -hmm. But I think I'll knit the bottom in a seven ribbing because okay. I don't like it to suck in. Okay. I like it to kind of be out, yeah. boxy, and it is. Nice. I knit the sleeves in eights. Oh, you just because, all over the place. Well, I did because generally, I, you know, it's tighter. In it's the tighter arm. in yeah. the arm. And there's smaller circumference. Yeah. Yes. So I just went up a needle size, mm -hmm. and that was fine. On the April cardigan, I am making size three, I think. Mm -hmm. I normally make like a size one in, in petite knit, but a lot of people were saying that it's a very fitted cardigan. So if you want a looser fit, then okay. you go up a size or two. So I did that. Okay. So just, Good. Just so you know. Just so you know. Okay. And it's fitting great. Like I've tried it on. I haven't blocked it. Okay. Anyway. This is that Tulsa tank. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm afraid it's going to be so big. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look, I don't know if it is or not. I but don't know if I should have gone down a needle size. You know, maybe not. Maybe it, I just need to fit. It'll probably grow, though. Yeah, That's cotton. I know. It is cotton. But this is that um, Cotton Tales by Jody Long. And it is, I think it's 100% cotton in that. Yes, 100% cotton. 
and I just had, this is that yarn that was half price in oh, Hilton yeah. Head. So I just had an extra green, or no, I had two greens, an extra pink, because I did that pink toasted tea out mm -hmm. of that with the cream. And then I had one blue. Nice. So I just, so I think I'll finish it. It doesn't look so big now, but I do think it'll grow. Yeah. But I, I can so. always throw it in the wash, in the dryer. Yes. Oh, well, we were in, my daughter and I, another daughter and I were in Nashville this past weekend. And she said, I have some bad news or something. She didn't say bad news, but there's a, there's an issue or something. Uh -huh. I'm like, what? And she said, uh, I knit one of her older daughters a sweater for Christmas. I think it was oh, year before no. last. And oh. one of the younger daughters had done the laundry mm -hmm. and put it in the dryer. So the oldest one is 15. So now the sweater fits the yes. three-year-old. <laughs> like, oh, well, that's well, fine. Hey. She said she was... <laughs> She was kind of weepy about it and Aww. said, do you need anything now? Let me another one. I'm like, absolutely, yes. Oh, it happens, it happens. Yes, it yeah. oh yeah. And Lauren has warned them, do not put your sweaters mm -hmm. in the dirty clothes. You oh, know, yes. Separately. Right. You don't need to wash them as much, blah, blah, blah. Right. So, yeah, wash them. Oh, yeah. poor girl. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, yeah, so she was like, I'm like, it's not a big deal. Yeah. In the grand scheme of things, that's not a big deal. Yeah. At least if it's Goldie. Exactly. <laughs> At least it fits the youngest. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, keep on trucking. You want me to go one more? Yeah, okay. I don't have any more lips. This is my Alpen Glow. And I am knitting it out of, this is Patagonia by Juniper Moon Farm in Organic Merino. Ooh. Color is lavender mm -hmm. believe it or not definitely yeah and this is spin cycle and Unicorn. it is no oh. mid midsummer oh so so look yeah i mean uh oh what's yeah. wrong nothing i mean it's just a lot similar yeah see i think i should have but i'm not gonna pull it out i'm just gonna keep going like yeah. it is what it is i don't mind it but I do, the neck is really cute. This is that's the so Autumn fun. Alpine. Oh my goodness, that's uh -huh. so fun. And I hope I haven't done anything wrong. I can't wait to start one. Yeah, so I do love it. It's yeah. a fun knit. The chart is an easy pattern. Um, you know, nice. I love it. Yeah, Yeah. so I really like it. So that's all start. of my works in progress. Are you sure? I saw this frame. Framed. Oh yeah, framed. Thank you. And I've been working on my frame. Yay! I took this with me and worked on it. Oh yeah. So I think I've done another row and a half. Nice. Yeah. Do I... Does it take a long time, or is it just you just have to? Be... You just have to watch the chart. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna block this and make sure all my it's gonna block out nicely. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing is knitting back and forth in color work. Have you done that before? Um, what do you mean? Like when you separate from, you're yeah. gonna have to knit oh. back and forth oh. as opposed to knitting in the round. I now, don't think I've ever done that. I don't think I have either. Yeah. So we'll see what happens when I get there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, <laughs> two top, put some elastic in the top. <laughs> I have thought about just leaving off the patchwork and just doing oh. the main color. Yeah, I have thought about that. So we'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. I didn't want to do it. I did the three women. I don't remember what the knit and wine maybe or something like that. They drink oh, yes. wine. She did hers, kept doing it in the round and put sticks in for the sleeves. Oh. And they cut it. <gasps> oh, my word. See, I don't know about that. Wow. Yeah. Well, I don't it, remember. If oh, I, I guess I'll it's not a raglan. So no, can't. it's not a raglan. It's a drop sleeve. Yeah. Mm. So I don't know. I'll wow. see, but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep knit. I'm gonna block it first yeah. to make sure. I mean, because I've been stretching my stitches out mm -hmm. and all the stuff, but it just looks like it's still kind of yeah pulling up. So I don't know. We'll see. Hmm. Well, yeah. Do you have any dream knits? Well, I am knitting. I can't show you because it's not. I don't have it in here. Wait, it's summer. Summer, summer Lee knit. She has a uh, sock club. Yes. So I'm doing the one with the, um, can you look that up on Insta? Because we're yes. filming on my phone. 
Okay, so, Summerlee. I have Summerlee, her sock club. And it ha it's like a main color, and then it's got like flowers around the top. It's not in the book. It's uh, this. this okay. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. The first one, the pink yeah. and the red? Yeah, the pink and red. I think they're all the same, just different colors. Oh, okay. So this is going to be my main color, and then these are going to be my... Cute. So that, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to try and do two at a time. So I've, I've measured out my main oh, skein nice. uh -huh. into, into two. Nice. And I know they don't look the same, but they weigh the same. So that's that's my my next Fun. knit sock, and I am working on another pair that I have. I'm, I'm down to the heel flap on it, so okay. I haven't done much on it. I didn't bring it. Nice. Okay. So what else you got? Mm, okay. So I have a dream knit. Okay. Let me see it. Um, we are currently in what is going to be like our schoolroom craft room. Okay. It's supposed to be the dining room, but you know we there's like a kitchen nook. Anyway, score. So my sweet husband got me this chair and to go beautiful. in Beautiful. I'm so excited. Um, and so I am going to knit a, oh, I can't, uh, pillow? Yeah, pillow? I think it's a Stella, it's called Stella throw pillow or something. I'll have to look That's it up. That's pretty. But it's by Laura Pendrose and I'm going to uh -huh. do that. And I'm going to do it out of, let's see if I have it. I don't have it on here. Some mini skeins by Sorelli Yarn. Ah. Oh no, I can't. Okay, they don't have it. What are the colors? I already ordered them. Well, um, they probably sold out. They're like, well, it was like their fall colors. They are supposed to have them available oh. like all fall. Oh. Um, but it's a combo of, oh yeah. So yeah. that's Oh, those. those are pretty. So I didn't get all of these, but I got like the, the blue and then that darker green. Oh, pretty. And then I got some of the purples or pinks, uh -huh. I forget. But very pretty. I'm so excited. Yeah, that'll be so pretty. It. Yes. So I need to figure out what, because like there's a cream background color, so mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm going to do like. Is it fingering or? It's DK, DK but you okay. hold it double, you know, like with the mini skeins. And okay. it's like you only need five grams. Oh, for each little yeah. point? Oh, so that's it's like not I bad. Like, yeah. 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 So. You can make two. Yeah, exactly. I'm excited. <coughs> Beautiful. So, yay. Yeah, I'm excited. I already ordered it, so it's, oh, good. it's not shipped or anything, but okay. it's starting soon. So that's all the knitting content, yes. I think, isn't it? Yeah, Don't forget the Alpine uh, yes. Knit Along. Mm -hmm. What is it? Fall into Alpine mm -hmm. 2024. Hashtag that. Yep. Uh, and we will give away, I think what I'm going to do is give away some spin cycle yarn. Yeah, I'll give it away. Um, and pro probably enough to make that two or three skeins. Okay, something nice. So, uh, so that'll be the prize, and we'll draw that at the end of November. Mm -hmm. So you can, if you're working on it, could be it yeah. can include a works in progress. Yeah. If you've already started one, we don't care. Yeah, just alpine anything. Mm -hmm. uh, and post pictures to the hashtag. Uh, do you yeah. want to offer the? E they can email you a picture. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You can email me a picture. And when it gets time to draw, she'll put those in the mm -hmm. hashtag. Isn't that how we did yes. it last time? So what I'll do is I'll post it to our Instagram. I won't put your name or anything, but yeah. I'll just okay. post your picture to Instagram so it will be in the big drawing. Okay. So it'll be online. For but like it won't have any connection to you. Bit. Yeah. So it'll yeah. just be a beautiful picture of you. Yeah. Yeah. Of your creation. I'll find. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll take it down after. So yeah. anyway. Okay, so uh, we do have our email below, post mm -hmm. office box. Um, do we still have Kofi? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. Kofi, all that if you want to help support the podcast, mm -hmm. we greatly appreciate it. Like and subscribe, that helps yeah. support. That's a that's a no cost support when mm -hmm. you like it, and you know, yeah. So, Kay, why don't you tell us what's been happening to you, and then we'll bring out somebody sent oh, us something. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Okay. So we recently moved, as y'all know, as y'all know, and my husband and I were like, I can't wait till we get to the new house. Like we'll be able to just settle in and it's just going to be so like Wonder. after yep. six weeks of craziness, like selling the other house, we not us, anyway. Yeah. It's just been crazy six weeks. We were super excited. Well, we, long story short, 
have they been, moved in on Friday. Yes. yes. And then we stayed with my parents for a week because my husband was finishing up a job. And then we like we were hoping that the weekend after we'd be able to do a big unpack and not have to worry about moving stuff up here, yeah. just unpack. Because he worked an hour south yes. of where we lived. His new job is an hour, like two hours north, north of where. So yeah. they went ahead and moved all their stuff to mm -hmm. their house, which is in the middle. Yes. But he would have had to drive two hours yeah. to work the next week because he was finishing up his old job. Yes. That's why that happened. There we go. Yeah. Yes. Content. So, um, long story short. They stayed at our house. <laughs> yeah. Stayed at their house. Got up here on to Friday. start unpacking on Friday. We were supposed to have some furniture delivered, like some bookshelves so that we could unload our books because we have some books. Yes. They, the delivery got delayed a day. For Sunday got delayed again for Wednesday well in the span of that time our two upstairs bathrooms started leaking into our dine our kitchen nook thankfully we had not gotten our dining room table there <laughs> yet yet so it just fell onto the floor but y'all that leak that it's it's just it's if you never had a ceiling leak leak it's unnerving. It very, yeah, it was, it was, yeah. So then we like spent a week where we didn't unpack because it was like, is, do, is there mold? Is there like, are we going to stay? Yeah. The, you know, getting people out here is hard because they're super busy. Yes. So it's just this huge like upheaval of just what's happening. Unknown. Yeah. Unknown. And so like, I mean, I felt so just yeah. like. But, so that happened. Did that happen Friday night or Saturday morning? That happened Monday. Oh, the leak did? Mm -hmm. Okay. Or, yeah, Monday. Our okay. furniture got delivered Wednesday. Okay. From not all their furniture. They moved themselves. Yes, the yeah, new yeah. furniture got yeah, delivered we got Wednesday. new, like, bookcases and yeah. stuff for our books. So then, so now it's Monday again, so it's been a week since the leak has started. Is that all? Yeah. It feels longer. It feels so but she longer. called me that morning. Yeah. I don't know. What was I doing? Was I going or doing something? Oh, and sun, that Sunday, oh, her yeah. daddy, my husband, we had. I had to take him to the hospital at 4 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, that's he was right. having some heart issues. So that happened, and he got discharged on Monday. So I was at the hospital the whole time with yes. him. And then, so she called me Monday, and she's, she wasn't in a panic or anything, <laughs> but she was just kind of like, you're not gonna believe what's happened. So she told me about the leak and what they were doing. And I'm like, okay. So, I, t you know, after I got my husband home and settled, I had to run out and do some quick errands because mm -hmm. we still, he still works, and I had to do some errands for the business. And so I went ahead and ran to the post office and I picked up, and there was a package there for us. I'm like, oh, this is the sweetest thing. So uh, I call, I, you know, I called Katie and I showed her the package. She's like, "Well, open it." And I'm like, "Well, I hate to open it without you." She's like, "No, open it." So I did. So it's from a friend in Canada, and she wishes to remain anonymous, but she said we could share the stuff. So this, and I took it out of the bag. Katie mm -hmm. already saw it. But yes. This is. This is. This Katie's. is my first time seeing it in person. Yes. This is so. I think I'll just, should I yeah. undo it? Yes. It, it, I mean, it's, it was such a sweet oh, surprise. Yeah. I, I know. I almost start crying. Yeah. I mean, look at little these pants. little pants. And she even put a little tag in. Oh, and it's made out, it's the seaside set by Petite Knit, six to nine months, knit with, Clam Garn Brown and Vovo Cream waistband not completely sewn in because she wanted it her to be able to pin it for adjusting. And then this oh, is word. the sweater. Yeah, it's a little bit. Yeah. Look at this. So she made this for my sweet baby, baby boy. Isn't that beautiful? This is gonna look so good on him. I mean, your daddy was like, "What?" I'm like, "I know." I mean, yes. Katie it, was almost in tears yes. too when I showed her. I cannot believe. It was I such a know. precious, wow. Just, yeah. Yes. Yes. To and know that somebody love, love yes. I mean, seriously, yeah. loves you yes. and your little one enough to put that much yes. time and effort into a little outfit. Yes. 
but she doesn't, the person doesn't have a big knitting community where they are. So she watches our podcast and just, that's what's so amazing about this is how we touch each other. I mean, we read every comment and oh, some, yes. and we do not, I hopefully we'll get, sometimes I'll sit down and take a couple hours and mm -hmm. answer and respond. Sometimes I'll do it on the fly if I have a couple minutes. We see everyone, we read everyone, and it brings great joy to us. Yes. You all bring great joy to us, so thank you. She also yes. sent me this beautiful little sock bag. It has pockets on the inside, two pockets on each side. Isn't that beautiful? She does not have an Etsy shop. Uh, but she said uh, that she made this and she almost didn't send it because it's not perfect. And I, this is what I want to tell you all. If you make something for somebody, give it to them. Yeah. Even if, you, because this brought me so much joy. It's like just a little hug, yes. you know? And, and what, it looks pretty perfect. It looks perfect to me. Yeah. Yeah. So I love it. I've got a pair of the yarn for my husband's socks in there. Mm. So I'll be casting those on. But it is just, you know, the things you make and give do not go unnoticed. Oh, yeah. Especially to other makers. Mm -hmm. Because oh, they know, time, yeah. you know, the effort, yes. the energy, the time, the love, the patience. Yes. All of that. And it, the vulnerability. Yeah. Because you're kind of like putting it out there like, right. and you right. don't know if they're going to like it or not. This is beautiful. And yes. it's such a sweet token of appreciation and love. Thank you yes. so, so, so much. You know who you are. Yes. And we love you and big hugs. Yes. And because. thank you so much for yeah. your generosity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Big time. This is, yeah. I mean, the fun, yeah. I know. This is all so. So we so have your address and Katie's going to take a picture of yeah. the little one when he can wear it and send it to yes. you. Yes. So. It's going to be so sweet. It's going to be so sweet. I'm like, can he fit it now? Not yet. Not just yet. yet. <laughs> but he will be. He's only six weeks yeah. old. Yeah. <laughs> he will this, be by Christmas for and sure. The, and then it'll be cold. And, yes. Yeah, it'll be and it's not scratchy. No. Yeah. This yeah. is great. You know, and I think um, a lot, you know, it's the one knitter who ha had the baby probably six months ago. And she, Knitting it, tradition? Yes, I mm -hmm. think. She's a doctor, maybe? Yeah. And she's like in, I don't know. I don't, I don't know either. Never mind. Uh, but she's in Europe somewhere. Yeah. But she dresses her baby in woolens all the time. Hmm. In the summer? Well, I mean, I don't um, know about yeah. summer, but, but like, like it doesn't, you know, she's not, oh, yeah. the scratchy, scratchy factor oh, is not, um, in, it's just nice. like, yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Maybe I just need to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Get them used to it. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you so yes. much. I cannot wait yes. for you to wear Yes. It's really so sweet. Yes, it's gonna be beautiful. Yes. Um, so hopefully my the leaks will get fixed yes. this week. Yes. We're yes. But that was such a gift yes. on that morning when yes. things were falling apart <laughs> <laughs> rather yes. rapidly. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then we had, like, they cut out some of the ceiling, and they're going to have to do some more, and we had fans going, so, like, I had kept it together pretty good, and I, I kept it together after the fans, I didn't, like, break down or anything, but that, the, like, the noise of the yeah. fans, I was like, okay, we need out of this place, yeah. so we drove down to the farm and hung out with my dad and sister one of the days, because it was like, this is, like, you can't talk from one room to the I know. other, <laughs> like, you can't just, think, no, it's like so, industrial, three yeah. industrial, that had to run for three days, yeah. So thankfully that part's over. Yeah. So now we really feel like, okay, like yeah. this is so much better. Yeah. But, yeah. So I was out of town. I went to Nashville with my daughter, Lauren, and we had been going to the Wild and Free con Conference, sorry, started to say concert, conference, and it is a homeschool conference for mamas who, uh, they, they do the Charlotte Mason, a lot of Charlotte Mason moms, you know, that, uh, that type of homeschooling and, you know, it's really it's really a wonderful homeschool conference. At least it was when I went. I did mm -hmm. not go this year. Lauren volunteered, so she went and listened to some. Sally Clarkson was there. Oh my goodness! And then she was there last the last time we went. What? This time we stayed in a hotel, but we've stayed in Airbnbs. The time before this, we stayed in a tiny a tiny oh yeah shed. It wasn't a tiny house. It was a tiny shed. And so there was a little, there was a shower and there was a little futon and there was a little kitchen and e over each eve there was, you know, this, and then there was like a mattress 
So, and you had to climb a ladder that was straight up. She has video of us. We are laughing so hard. <laughs> it was so funny. Um, so, okay. hold on. You keep, thing. if you want to keep, oh, you want me keep on. Yeah. Somebody's at the door, though. But anyway, it was so funny. We had so much fun. And part of it is just, we never get to stay together alone and do stuff. So, she went to the conference and I did some knit store shopping and uh, and I went to, there's a couple shops down there that I like to go to, to check out. So I went to Bliss Yarn and I went to House of Yarn. So uh, maybe the next time when, when we tape at the farm, I'll show you some of the goodies I got there. But that was a lot of fun. And then this, today, um, I got back home yesterday, did stuff around the house and then got up this morning and I'm on my way to Cleveland with another daughter. She has an appointment in the morning, so we'll come back, but it's a five hour drive from our house. So it was like her appointment's at nine. Mm, yeah. I didn't want to get up at you know three in the morning and start driving. I used to do stuff like that, but not anymore. So we're gonna go up, spend the night, and then we'll come home tomorrow nice. after appointment. Yeah. So it's just a crazy season right now. And then, yeah. And then not this weekend, but the next weekend, we have a sibling uh, getting married. Getting married. Yeah. And then after that, you're you have a good trip, right? Oh yeah, my husband oh, and I. Two, are going. two weeks. Yeah, after. we're going to go to the uh, Lord willing. We're going to the South. Oh yeah. South is it Southeast Fiber Festival? South. South. Is that right? Yeah. Fiber, it's, yeah, South yeah. I don't know what it's, the initials are, but it's down in Fletcher, yeah. North Carolina, and it's. Uh, I think it's the 17th, 18th, and 19th of October. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go from, you know, from Thursday to Sunday there. We're staying in Black oh, Mountain. Word. And then we're going to go to Hilton Head for five days. Oh, my word. And that's the first time we've taken a trip yeah. like that in t 20 years. Yeah. It's just the two of us. So we're yeah. really excited. They're going to find me hidden. <laughs> me and my baby <laughs> in their suitcase. Come on. Come on. <laughs> No, so it's, be so it will be yeah. fun and it's cheaper, you know, in the off season. So it's not oh, yeah. a bad price really mm -hmm. for five days. So nice. we are so looking forward to yeah. it. After such a crazy time, it'll be nice for you to just go to the beach. Yeah. Just yeah. sit. Just sit. Just sit. Well, and I'm looking forward to going to that fiber festival. Oh my too. goodness, yes. Your dad's like, okay, what am I going to do while you're doing that? I'm like, well, I'm not going to stay there the whole day. Yeah. So we'll go. Just most Yeah, of just most of it. But he he can take something and oh, he'll yeah. walk around. We'll do some. He can bring a boat. Yeah, he can bring a boat. Yeah. So we'll so, do some fun stuff. Yeah. Fun stuff coming. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you all yes. for joining us for letting us into your knit space mm -hmm. some time and I hope you got some knitting done. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. We'll see you all next time. Yes. Happy knitting. <laughs> <laughs>